Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about my September favorites. It was a weird month. I feel like the transitional months are always a bit weird. You know, it wasn't fully summer, but it wasn't totally transitioned into fall. There were days where it was like 80 degrees. There were days when it was 70 degrees. The humidity was high. It just, we're not fully in fall yet. Although I think this week we are finally taking that turning point into fall, which I am like sad, but ready. I feel like the in-between is a little depressing. Like I didn't want to let go of summer. I wasn't ready for fall, but now I think it's just ready. I'm just ready to just, you know, cut ties with the summer. September was a little bit of a rough month for me. I went through a lot personally and work related. It was just a lot of changes all at once. And while I will say I was really good at waking up, working out, getting dressed, putting on my face for the day, just because that's something that really helps get me out of a funk. I really do believe that when you look better, you feel better. So that was my motto of September. So we're gonna get into all of the beauty things that I loved, the makeup, the skincare, the handbags, the clothing. Do I have shoes? I don't have shoes because it was, again, it was weird. Some days I was wearing sneakers, some days I was wearing sandals. I have undergarments, we got nipple covers. We got a lot of things in today's video. So I'm gonna be diving into all the things that I use the most this month. If you are not yet subscribed and you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe. Also give it a thumbs up if you enjoy these monthly favorites and let me know down below in the comments what were some things that you absolutely loved in the month of September. I would love to hear. Let's talk about my skincare routine. Now, I was a little bit lazy on the new face front. However, I did start using my face roller. Again, this is something that I used a lot in 2023 and I'm now picking up towards the end of 2024. But before we get to this, let's talk about about what I use in preparation for it. So in the morning, I just like to wake up, wash my face with cold water, just because I don't like to use a cleanser in the water in the water. I don't like to use a cleanser in the morning. I have very dry skin. So I just wash my face with cold water to help wake me up, to help depuff a little bit. And then I have been using this Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This is very cheap, very affordable. I think it's like $12 for 2.5 full ounces. I buy this at Ulta all the time. Take a little bit and I apply it to one section of my face. And then I take my Satchu face roller. And I kind of just think about this, like ironing out my skin. I'm pushing pushing out any puffiness. I get a lot of puffiness in the center of my face, around my mouth. I am a side sleeper and I sleep on both sides. So I just feel like in the morning when I wake up, I'm puffy, I'm squished. So I just think of this as an iron where I iron out my wrinkles, I iron out my puffs. And at the end of it, you can really see that my face, one side of my face is a lot less puffy than the other side as soon as I finish one side. So I will definitely show you here, but this is just a beautiful like self-care moment. I find that we all hold a lot of tension in our face. I specifically hold a lot of tension in my brows. I think of it as an iron and I think of it as a massager, like it massages out the tension in the muscles in my face. So I really love this. It helps my skin to look less wrinkly. It helps my skin to look less puffy and it also helps my makeup go on so much more smoothly. So I really do enjoy this. I have heard a lot of people say that face rollers don't do anything, but I don't know. I just, it makes me feel good. It's a quick fix. I wanted to mention also when I face roll around my eyes, I do like to put my trusty little Uli Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. This is my favorite eye cream to help kind of like brighten my under eyes. I get a lot of dark circles in the inner corner of my eye. So I put a little bit of this around my eyes and then I do the smaller side of the Satchu face roller to just help lift my eyes. My eyes get very puffy. I feel like my brows kind of are a little bit furrowed. They're a little heavy on my face. So this just helps to lift the brows, lift the eyes and just make me feel more awake. After I apply that, I like to go in with a bit of hydration. I've been using the Tatcha water cream. I'm honestly almost out of this. I plan to buy more during the Sephora sale. I think it's the middle of October this year. I'm definitely doing a video. So make sure you subscribe and click the bell button. This way you get a notification when that video does go live. But I put a bit of the Tatcha water cream all over my face, let that sink into my skin. And then in terms of sunscreens. I have been using the two of these on and off. I like them both. I will say if I had to choose, I do enjoy the La Roche-Posay a bit more. They're both SPF 50. And then this one is the Dr. Dennis Gross. Definitely going to buy the La Roche-Posay again. I think it's a little bit thinner. It's a bit more hydrating. Whereas Dr. Dennis Gross is a nice face cream, but it's a little bit more sunscreeny than La Roche-Posay. I'm kind of shocked that they're at the same price point though. They're about the same amount of money. And I thought La Roche-Posay was a drugstore brand, but you know, 
I would just say this one's better. And I'm sad to say that you're not really gonna save any coin by picking this one. But if you do decide to get the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum, again, I just told you that I used it for my face roller. This sunscreen does not pill on top of that serum. Whereas I find that Dr. Dennis Gross, it pills. Now I'm to the point where I'm just gonna throw a little bit of my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I've been using this every day and I have like really not even made a dent in this. Let's hop right into the concealer since I have not been wearing foundation and I'm just gonna use my Dior Backstage Concealer. I'm gonna rush through this though because like I say all the time, this is the concealer that will never die and I'm sure that you're sick of seeing me use it but I've just gotten to the point where I wanna use all my things, I wanna be done with all of my things and I'm kind of ready to just like revamp my makeup routine. I really, really, really love this concealer. It's so, so good but I'm just tired of using it. I will say it's very thin. It doesn't look too makeup-y. So if you are someone that has a more mature skin, I think that you will really, really like this concealer. It doesn't settle into the fine lines too badly. Like if I use a very, very small amount, you don't even really like necessarily need to powder. I went through all my makeup and my vanity. I tried to find things that were running out that I didn't have too much of. Just like really wanna make space. Mike and I have been talking about moving for a pretty long time now. I'm gonna be honest, I went and I got my hair done. <laughs> which I hope you can tell. I'll, I'll show you when we're done and I can take my hair down, which also I'm really loving this hair clip that my girlfriend Katie bought me. It's so freaking cute. I just look at the little flower in my head and I just, I get excited about it. It's so cute. But anyway, I went to get my hair done last week. Love my hair girl, Samantha. She told me that her and her fiance decided to look for a house and they found a house in less than a week. Like literally, she was like, we started looking, we got a realtor, we started looking on realtor.com and within a week they found their dream home. I'm very happy for her. I'm not someone, I mean, I am jealous. I'm not gonna lie. Like, and I feel like if you say that you don't get jealous about things, you know, you're lying. Everyone gets a little bit jealous, um, but I'm more so happy for her. She deserves it. But Mike and I have been looking for a damn house for what feels like a lifetime. I'm just trying to get rid of things in preparation for my move. I'm just gonna move on. I just have been really liking this blush because I've been kind of just like in the mood to get in, get out. Just it's been my life lately, just getting ready for the day. I like feeling empowered. I like feeling my best. And I don't, it's just a very long winded way to say that this blush, the formula, this is Maca Glow Play in Cheer Up. It's a cream blush. It just picks up so quickly. Whereas like you guys know, I love my Merit flush bombs, love them. They're like a thinner formula, whereas this is a thicker formula. So I put my brush in, I dipped it twice like you just saw, and then the pigment just shows up right away. So I'm just really liking this. The color is beautiful, it helps to enhance the little bit of a tan that I still have that I know is not gonna last much longer. If you are heavy handed and you tend to put too much blush on, I would recommend these. If you're someone where you like to dip in a couple times, slap it on your face and go, which has definitely been my vibe, then I would recommend these. So nice. They're just like a little bit of a thicker cream formula. And again, this color is just, it's so beautiful. You might be shocked to know that I've been using this Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish. I'm in the shade One Fair. I've been using this to set my entire face. I think I'm a little upset at the Givenchy Prism Libre. I still have it. I'm upset that they changed the formula and that it's shinier now because I don't like shiny under eyes. I don't like shine in here. I use powder to get rid of the shine in the center of my face. I'm just holding on to it for dear life because I have the old formulation, formulation. I can't speak in case you didn't know. I have the old formulation. I don't want to use it all. So I've kind of like rotated this back in in hopes that I can hang on to Givenchy Prison Libre. I hope that they go back to the original formula because it seems like everyone and their mother hates the new formula, me being included as well. But another thing that I really like about this is that it's pressed powder. I set my face with this and then I will literally throw this in my handbag, in my backpack if I'm going to work and then I can just powder throughout the day without worrying about it getting everywhere and making a mess in any of my bags. But anyway, like I was saying, Mike and I have been talking about moving forever. We've been house hunting. I can't even tell you. Like Mike says that I'm dramatic. But I feel like we've been to a lot of open houses and we just like either haven't found the one or like there were two times where we like fell in love with the house and it's just like wasn't 
the right location for us. I know that it will all happen in due time. There's a reason as to why it hasn't happened yet. I have no doubt. So I'm being patient, but I'm just trying to get rid of things. I have a Poshmark account where I just sell things often. I've sold a lot of things actually, and I find such joy in it. It brings me back to my retail days. I worked in retail for a little bit over 10 years and I just enjoy people buying things from me and then packing it up, making it look like decent. I, I will say, I don't go too insane with the packaging of it. Like I just, I reuse Amazon boxes, you guys know. I'm very, I like to reuse, recycle, repurpose. So I reuse boxes that Mike and I get on a daily basis to package things. I enjoy packing it up and going to the post office and I enjoy writing like little thank you notes. And like I said, I'm trying to get rid of things. So I've just been like, whenever someone buys something from me recently, I just like go through my Ikea collection, my Ikea makeup collection back here. And I just throw like any kind of extra things I can throw in. If you live in New Jersey and you know of a place where I can donate like makeup and skincare and like all that kind of stuff, please let me know. I want to donate it to like a women's shelter of some sort. I mean, I need to do a little bit of research. I just want to get rid of things. I just like the clutter bothers me. We really want a house and I'm excited to move and like start a new chapter in my life. I think that Mike and I both just like need a little bit of freshness and it'll be so exciting when it happens. But I know I'm gonna dread it. I moved three times in the span of one year. When I moved out of New York City, I moved back in with my parents, then I moved in with my aunt, and then I moved into my apartment several years ago at this point. It was dreadful, it was a nightmare, and I just, it, it was so terrible that I still think about that feeling. And I just know if I get rid of things now, I will feel happier within my space. And then when my space moves to a new space, it'll be less of a hassle. I like this powder because it adds a little bit of coverage, whereas the Givenchy Prism Light Libre, or Lieb, however you are supposed to say it, that kind of is just a translucent powder. This has a little bit of a kick to it. I like this powder, but I know that the winter is approaching, obviously. And as the winter gets closer, my skin's gonna get drier. And I just find that the Charlotte Tilbury kind of like picks up my imperfections a bit more, but my skin's in a good spot. So I wanna use it while my skin is in a good spot. Bronzer, I've been using this Lovecraft Beauty and I'm gonna use the lightest shade, which is Cymbeline on my Hourglass double-edged, dual-edged, dual-ended, I don't know, brush on the bigger side. And I'm just gonna pat this over top. I don't know if you know this, but I moved in with Mike in, was it 2018? We got, yeah, because we got engaged in December of 2018. I moved in September of 2018 and I moved into Mike's home. So, you know, Mike was very welcoming. I mean, like he had an extra room in his home that he basically redid for me and made a walk-in closet for me. So I'm not saying like anything negative about him and coming into his space, but it just would be nice to find a place that we can curate and make our own together. I just feel like that'll be like the next step in our relationship, in our marriage. I just, it's something that I'm really, really looking forward to. I don't know, patience, I guess is the key. But if you know me, I am like, not a very patient person, which is a terrible trait. I'm still using this NYX Sweet Cheeks. I just love this because you have so much in here. You can mix and match. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this and a little bit of this, these two right here. Just like dip back and forth and then pat. And it's just one, two, three quick. It's so freaking pretty. I love this palette, but also at the same time, I'm just like over, over consumption. I feel like we all just come on the internet and tell you or tell each other, I should say, to just buy things. And I don't really think we need that many things. Like even in this video, like all the makeup that I'm using, like I don't need to use this much makeup. I could cut it back and be totally happy with my makeup routine. So I don't know. It's just been a weird year for me. A lot of like reflecting, figuring out what it is that does and doesn't make me happy. Clutter doesn't make me happy. Overconsumption doesn't make me happy. And spending too much time on my brows doesn't make me happy either. I was very lazy with the brows this month. I used the e.l.f. Wow Brow, and then I went to my Honey Bee Garden. So this is like drugstore price brows we're talking here. Honey Bee Garden's Fine Point Brow Pencil in the shade Walnut. I like this because it is such a fine point. I really like the color of this. It is pretty foolproof because not a lot of pigmentation goes on at once. And if you're someone like me, I could just sit here and perfect my brows for hours and hours and hours. And that's when 
I find like I put too much product on and then it's like all downhill from here. They don't look great, but we're just gonna move on. I've also been using this. This is the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. There is a brow side and a lash side. I really haven't used this for my lashes at all. And this is just a clear brow gel to help keep them lifted all day long. Those are the brows. I don't know. They're not perfect, but I'm trying to just like let go of the brow perfection because I think like it stresses me out. And then when I get stressed about the brows, I spend too much time on the brows. So silly. And then they end up looking even crazier. For eyeshadow, it's been pretty minimal. I tried this in one of my videos. This is the Pat McGrath Divine Blush and Glow Trio in Galactic Sun. I've been using this shade as a crease shade. I don't know what it is. It's like a little pink a little peachy. It just looks so good in the crease. So I'm gonna show you, but this is a Scott Barnes 62 brush. I'll show you what this looks like on one side. You guys know, I kind of just put it into the crease. There's like a fuzz on my face and it's driving me insane. It's like right here, but I can't see it. I just like to put it in here. And it's kind of like a bronzer shade. Is that you or is that Brogan? Yes? Why are you scratching the door like a cat? Meow. Yeah. Meow? Are you gonna be ready? No. I'm gonna need like 10 extra minutes. Is that okay? Are you sure it's okay? It doesn't sound like it's okay. Let's throw this in here. I am like sweating. Like I said, I'm just, I'm tired of sweating. It's not been sunny. It's been dark and depressing, but it's been like hot and humid at the same time. And so I think that that's really making me want to rip the bandaid off in terms of getting the fall here because it's kind of just like God. I'm not getting the best of either world. Like I'm getting the hot and humid summer without the sun. Like it's just, I don't know. I'm not enjoying it though, but I am really enjoying this blush as an eyeshadow. I also have just been taking this huge fluffy brush. This is a Farah, no, I'm sorry, a Visanti concealer brush that I've just been using to just buff the eyeshadow because you guys know if you watch my videos, I'm someone where I love makeup, but I don't want to look like I'm wearing makeup. Like I like makeup to just like enhance my beauty. I don't want people to like see me and them say to me like, oh, I love your makeup. Like, no, I don't want you to love my makeup. I just want to say like, I want them to say like, oh, your skin looks great. Oh, your eyes are like popping. I don't know. I'm a little crazy. We all know this. I'm back into my Laura Mercier caviar sticks. I'm going to use the shade Coco. It's just like a crayon eyeshadow. I'll show you on the back of my hand what this looks like. It's like a deep dark brown. Now that the fall is hopefully upon us, I just like a grungier makeup look. So I've just been putting this, looking in the mirror, going right where my pupil is and then pulling it out and then just like rubbing it in with my finger. It's kind of like putting shadow on the outer corner, like a darker shadow, which I normally do, but I haven't been doing because I've been doing this trick so that it creates a little bit more dimension. But can you see, it just created like a little bit of darkness on my lash line. Quick makeup, I don't know. And then I take what's ever left over on my finger and I bring it in. So it's kind of like a gradient effect around the lashes. Honeybee Gardens, a lot of Honeybee Gardens in this video, in Belgian chocolate, wiggling this between my lashes in my waterline just to reinforce. And then sometimes if I want it to be a little bit more defined on the outer portion of my eye, I'll just take this and basically do what I just did with the caviar stick. I'm just doing light strokes on the lash line, on the waterline, and then I'm going in between. And then I like to take a little bit and put it in the inner corner, but on the waterline, just like that. And can you just see how much definition these two products add to my eye? And again, it doesn't look like makeup. It looks very natural. I just like looking like me. In my 20s, I wanted to look like other people, but now that I'm, I think like more secure with myself, I guess, cause I feel like as we age, like I feel more secure with myself as a 30 year old, I have no doubt. I feel even more secure with myself as a 40 year old, as a 50 year old, so on and so forth, you know? I've just kind of like accepted myself for who I am and I kind of, and I feel like a lot of that has to do with my dad passing away. I just wanna embrace who I am because I hold a part of my dad, you know? Because I am his daughter. I've been taking this other caviar stick, rose gold, really light shade. I don't even know if you could see that, but I've been taking this and I've just been putting this on the lower lash line, but like right underneath my lashes. So I hope you can see. 
Can you see what I just did? And again, you can't really see it, but it adds a little bit of light to the eyes and makes my eyes look more awake. And I put it all down here. Can you see the difference between the two eyes? Let me know down below if you can, but it just, it catches the light, like the little shimmers from the stick. I love these, these are really, really good. And I like that, you know, they dry down and they don't move, but you still have time to play with them. Tweezer Man eyelash curlers, and we're just gonna curl the lashes. Some days I don't wear mascara, but I have been wearing this one exclusively because I got a sty from using my Gucci mascara, which I knew I was gonna get it because I said, if this mascara gives me an irritation or god forbid a sty, I'm gonna throw it out. Well, guess what? I tried it when I went back to work after Labor Day weekend and instantly I got a sty. It wasn't too bad, thank God. So now I'm on a very strict one mascara open at a time, only using it for three months because that was a terrible experience. Again, it could have been worse, but not an experience I would like to test to see if it'll be worse next time. Now, this is the Hourglass. They're Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. I do love my Lancome Lashy Dole better, but this is nice. I have been adding a bit on my lower lashes, just a little bit, because I like the contrast between the lashes and that caviar stick that I put underneath. So that is one eye done. Okay, so for lips, I've been using my two Koki lip liners nonstop. I've been using Warm Nude as well as Dusty Rose. I actually think I wanna use Dusty Rose today, but I will swatch the both of them for you. So this is Warm Nude, very pretty. It's a warm nude, kind of like peachy though. And then let me grab the other one because I took it out last night. Here is the other one. Now this is the same exact Koki retractable, but this is in Dusty Rose. So they're very similar. Warm nude is definitely more peachy, whereas Dusty Rose is a bit more rosy. It's like pink, I don't know. That's the one I'm gonna use today. So, oh my God, I got sweat coming off my upper lip. But anyway, I just been lining my lips. I've been keeping my Cupid's bow intact for a little bit. I used to draw over it, which is definitely a vibe. If you're someone that wants a really big like upper lip, lip injecting kind of lip line, I would draw it. I'll actually link a video here to show you, but that definitely used to be my vibe. I kind of like to keep, again, me embracing myself. And I'm not saying this to say like I'm better than anyone. Like I just, Whatever makes you happy, I think is what you should do. I'm in this place where I like to embrace who I am, how I look, and kind of just like enhance it. So I've been embracing my natural kind of Cupid's bow. For lips, I'm going in here because I've been really enjoying this stupid, and it makes me upset that I love it so much, the Dior 001 Lip Glow, because it's literally just like an expensive tinted lip balm. But like, look, it's like the prettiest color. I can't explain it. I'm gonna do one Look at the one half of my, it like makes me look like there's just blood rushing to my lips. Like, can you see the difference? It's my lips, but like with a glow, like it's literally named Dior Addict Lip Glow. It is a glow. So I've been pretty lazy with the lips this month. I've been using this a ton. And then another thing that I've been using a lot is my Revlon 755 Bare It All lipstick. This is just the perfect like now nude. It's like not too bright and summery, but not too deep and dark and folly. I'll put a little hit on as well. It's so pretty. This has definitely been the lipstick of the month and the kind of like hydrating lip product of the month. All right, the makeup is done. Let us move on to other things because as you guys heard, I'm always late, forever late. Oh, I'm so annoying because I took my brush out of here and was like, let me move my brush in my bathroom because that's where I will use it. But now I need it and it's not in here quickly because like I said, I'm late and now my battery is dying. For jewelry, I've been mixing up in the earring department. These are not really a mix up though. I don't know why I said that. I've been wearing these little YSL. These are fake earrings. These are not YSL, but everyone and their mother, I cannot tell you like how many people comment on these earrings and they're like, oh my God, your earrings. Like they love them, but like in a judgy tone and they're like, oh, YSL, like bouge. And then I tell them that I bought them at a street fair, which I don't know why I should really just, I, going forward, I'm gonna let people think that they are YSL because I want them to think that I'm ridiculous for spending that kind of money on a piece of costume jewelry because I wouldn't put it past me, but it's not something that I did. So people say like, oh my God, those earrings 
because they have the little YSL logo and it's not quiet luxury at all. And then I tell them that I bought them for like $15 at a street fair and they're like, oh my God, yeah, I love them. It's like they, they loved them, but it was like judgy. And then it was like, oh, okay, she's not as absurd as I thought she was. So now I can truly tell her how much I love them, but I've been wearing these a ton. And then I've also been dabbling into my silver jewelry, which I'm also wearing my engagement ring, my wedding ring, and then I've been wearing this fortune off ring. Just, I'm trying to amp up the silver. So I've been wearing these Amazon. These are like the faux Bottega earrings, which I love. I will link them down below. I bought them as a pair. It comes in two pairs, a gold pair and a silver pair. And I've just been wearing the silver a little bit more as you guys have seen, especially if you've been watching my vlogs. But I think today with the hair, oh, this is the new hair. I just, she added a little bit of redness undertone to it. We added a little bit more low lights to kind of just take away the blonde, you know, if you get highlights, they pick up different pieces every time. So it kind of just like, you end up becoming one shade, whether it's blonde, red, whatever it is you get the highlight color in. So she put a little low lights to kind of add a bit more definition and I love it. I feel like this is the hair color I was always meant to have, but I'm gonna wear my YSL ones today. Actually, am I? Actually, no, I kind of want to wear my Bottega ones. I threw my evil eye back on. You guys have seen this, especially if you've watched my jewelry collections. I love this, it's just like a pop of color. I love the turquoise. And then this is a necklace that my Aunt Debbie bought me. It is little water droplets to represent grief for my dad. It was just very thoughtful and I love it and I like and it adds a little bit of sparkle and pop to any of my outfits. I just, I love the way that the light hits it. I have my rings that I wear all the time. Table by David Yurman, my Cartier Panther, Mike's signet ring with his initials, my Cartier Clash, and then the same bracelets that I always wear. I need to put my Van Cleef one on because I have been wearing her every single day. I'm sorry that I'm rushing, but if you wanna see my jewelry collection video, I will link it here as well as put it down below where we go through each and every piece that I wear on the regular. I have so much more jewelry than what's featured in that video, but I just wanted to show you my everyday pieces that I love, I use, so on and so forth. Here we go. The exciting part of this video. It's all kind of exciting, but whatever. Let's talk about clothes. So the only clothing piece that I wore so much this month, just because it's so comfy, and I just felt really disgusting a lot of September, to be honest. These are the Gap Body tank tops. I'm gonna wear these all throughout the winter. I feel like these are skims, but like better just because Kim Kardashian didn't make them. No shade. I think Kim Kardashian is a great businesswoman, but like I don't want to buy her stuff because she has so much money and she doesn't need my money. She's like, she doesn't. She doesn't need anybody's money. I don't, not that Gap needs my money though either. I don't know. Um, but these are really comfortable, very soft, and they have a very light built-in bra. These run small. I am always a small in most like 99% of the time I'm a small, but I buy them in a medium. They're very, very comfortable. Expensive for what they are though. I will say that. These nipple covers, I bought them on Amazon. You know like the bras, the sticky bras? I wanted a sticky bra, but I can't find a sticky bra that doesn't over consume my breasts. Like I don't have a big chest, I'm a size B, and they just look insane. So it came with the sticky bra and then it came with the nipple covers and I love the nipple covers just because I'm so small chested that I can kind of just put them on and I can lift them up a little bit. I just feel more comfortable. It kind of like rounds them out a bit for me and keeps them in place. I used to like love running around without a bra on. I'm not that person anymore. I like some kind of securement and these have just been great. I will link them down below. I will link my Amazon storefront where you can find a lot of these products. Another product that I bought on Amazon, I've used this before. This is the Naturium Bio Lipid Restoring Body Lotion, fragrance free. I love this. I love the pump. I need to pivot from my Vaseline lotion to something a bit more hydrating. So I'm back on this. I love it. And I just it's so pretty like I love the yellow I love the packaging so I just wanted to mention this I've been using this and I will be using this probably all winter long just as a good body lotion I have been ugh, sorry everything's getting stuck to my face today I haven't really been reading a lot I'm still reading Magnolia Parks I understand why people like it I think it's a little bit too juvenile for me it's a bunch of 22 year old socialites centered around this couple that just cannot quit one another unhealthy relationship it's interesting but not interesting enough to keep me intrigued I'm like 60% of the way done with it it's a very very long book in a three book series PBD if I will continue to read the series I kind of want to move away to something a little bit more spooky for the Halloween 
Halloween season. So I want to finish this and I will let you guys know in an upcoming vlog my book of October because I don't know, I'm just, I'm craving something a little bit more spookier. In terms of journaling, I definitely want to journal a little bit more. I was a little bit better in September, but I think I could be way better in October. Um, not a lot of journaling, but like more than I've been journaling. So this is still a work in progress. I also am doing Sydney Cummings. I'm finishing up her Stronger program tomorrow and then I'm gonna be doing whatever program she has next, which I've just been a little bit distracted with my own things going on. I haven't even looked at what her next program is, but I love Sydney Cummings. If you don't know anything about her, she does workout, free workout routines here on YouTube. She uploads, I think it's like five days a week, but she offers programs that you can buy for $8, I believe. And so I buy her program every month for eight bucks, which I think is a pretty good steal. And I really enjoy working out in the comfort of my own home. Oh, in terms of skincare, I forgot to mention this, but I have been using my Foreo UFO 2 mask, a vibrator mask has LED lights if you're interested in hearing a bit about it I did speak about it in a recent vlog I will link that vlog here I enjoy it it's like a nice way to unwind at the end of a nice long day I have stopped wearing my Apple watch I only wear it when I go for walks when I'm doing actual workouts and I've been wearing my Cartier this is the Santos watch that Mike bought me for a one-year anniversary I love it I feel a little unplugged which I think is necessary for my mental health so I've been really enjoying that I've also been using the college and Superfusion Facial Oil by Charlotte Tilbury. I don't want this. It's not a thin oil. It's kind of a thick oil. I find that it doesn't really hydrate my face as much as I would like it to hydrate. I wanted to use it with my face roller, but just, I don't know. I enjoy the hyaluronic acid better. I'm going to continue to use this, find a way to use this because I did spend my money on it and I will come back and let you know next month the best way to use it going forward. I just haven't really been liking it the way that I've been using it. And I hate to say that because it is expensive, but I think you can find a better oil. Really enjoyed the one from GoTo Face Hero. I will link it down below. You can check that out. I just like a thinner kind of face oil. That's more my vibe. In terms of handbags, I don't even need to say this if you've been watching, but I've been loving my Goyard. This is just a great on the go, throw your shit in your bag, move on with your life. I can throw anything in here. I currently have socks, a tampon. Yeah, so this has just been great. Everyday tote and I got the one with the zipper. The world's a crazy place. People get robbed and I think a zipper is important. In terms of smaller bags, I'm on this. I've used this since I bought it, like a lunatic. So I will say I definitely have gotten my money's worth, but this is the Fendi, Fendi Griffey small bag. You guys have seen this. I bought this chain. I don't love the chain. I told you the first time I used it, I didn't love it. I'm not loving it anymore, but I will use it because I bought it and I do love this bag. I just think I like the simple crossbody strap better. If you want to see the unboxing of this video and you didn't see it, I will link that here as well as down below. Sorry, I'm referring to a lot of videos in this video, but I just like don't want this video to be an hour and a half long. And also I need to get on with my life. I'm always late and it's annoying. I'm sure my husband can tell you how annoying it is. This is the bag I'm probably gonna be using a lot this October. It is like this beautiful purpley navy, kind of like eggplant color. I love this strap. This strap was sent to me both by Gianni Chiarini, and this is a great strap, and I love it, and I can't wait to get back into this bucket bag. I think I brought this the last time Mike and I went to Napa. We are going to Napa again, and it's just so good. It's just small, but mighty, and that's just my vibe. Also, Banana Republic, they make the best kind of like cardigans. I'm not a cardigan lady, but I love all my Banana Republic cardigans. I love their waffle cardigans. They're just soft. They make more fitted cardigans. Banana Republic Factory is just like where it's at, and I love 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 i love it for fall i've also been meditating more i've been meditating either five or ten minutes a day every day which has been really good for me but it's something that i want to keep up so i just think in order to round this video out in october i want to spend more time spooky season oh my god i forgot about my nail polish this is big beautiful big beautiful planet i put this on um after labor day and it's literally the last day in September is tomorrow. So this held up really well. I don't know, I've just been lazy, but my God, this is their regular nail polish. I will link it down below. And then in October, you guys know, spooky colors. I love black, so I'm gonna be using Black Onyx by OPI. I pretty much exclusively use OPI nail polishes. There's some here and there like Olive and June that I'll dabble in, but I love OPI clearly, because this nail polish, the blue, was on for a month. So I'm going to be using Black Onyx. I'm going to be using Susie Needs a Locksmith. Perfect Halloween colors. I absolutely love them. And I also got these stickers, which I mentioned in a vlog, but they're spooky stickers. 
I got them from Deco Beauty. I can't wait to use them. And yeah, so that is it. I will say in October, I wanna read more. I definitely wanna journal more. I also wanna find a therapist because I think a girl needs one. And I just wanna be more present and kind of just like be more grateful. So I think I'm gonna be writing down every day, like at least three things that I'm grateful for. I think I need to live in that kind of space to alleviate some of my anxiety. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for the whole month of September. I'm looking forward to October. Spooky season is my favorite season, Halloween. I love Halloween. But let me know down below in the comments what were some of your favorite things that you enjoyed this month. I would love to hear. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much again for hanging out with me. I hope you have a beautiful week, a beautiful night, a beautiful day, whenever it is you are watching this. And I really, really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.